Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Wanderlust. We're back in our small temporary base with a little muffalo pen over here. We still need our, our extra muffalos over here by the way. We have one train in obedience. And we have new options, so it's like follow the master, follow master while the master is doing field work, hunting or taming animals. And we can also have them follow the master while the master is drafted. You know, no longer will we have to worry about pets chasing people in the battle. It's great. And we, last episode, we tamed these two new muffalo, and they're following us now. There's a ton of steel here. Oh yeah, we demolished a bunch of floors. Remove more floors. We want all the steel we can get, to be honest. Now, Anna is still going out here, because we have like three more muffalo we would like to tame. For a total of six. You know, the more the merrier. We've got a little herd here together now. It's great. They're gonna be able to help us move stuff. I think each muffalo can basically carry the amount of weight that four people can. Pretty useful. And yeah, we've got a prisoner here. Hakuya, or Hakuya. Whatever the hell you want to pronounce it. Not very happy. Nearly died of blood loss, but actually, quite alive. Which, to be honest, is a miracle, all things considered. We could have easily killed her. Now, the one problem we're having is that we're currently not really getting enough energy. Which is a bit of a shame. Especially because our cooler needs power to really stay working. So does the heater, by the way. We don't have a lot connected to it, but even just this little can be enough. You know, we've got like 50 watts in the lights, we've got... This makes it like 225, then we've got 350. We've got a total drain of like 750 or 770, something like that. I mean, we should be fine in the long run. So yeah, we're just going to continue mining for now, because, well, we want a lot of steel so we can move on from this temporary base and build something a little bit more permanent. And then we might start, like, a second base at some point. We're not going to make it a large base, we're not going to make it a permanent base, but we could have, like, a mining outpost somewhere that we could send people to the mine and, like, go home after a few days. Ooh, crap, that's a good ton of, amount of me medicine. I want you to prioritize hauling that, Meritrix. We need those medicine supplies. At all costs, really. Sweet! They didn't even get a chance to deteriorate. That's a really good find. We have like 15 medicine. Now we're up to 33. That nearly. that more than doubled our stock. Wow. Now we have our hand tailoring bench set up to do a bunch of parka like making. I don't think we have. Yeah, we don't have enough materials for it yet. That doesn't help us in the least. Just looking for some small critters right now that we could potentially hunt and get some more fur with. There are a few. I don't really want to shoot the muffalo yet. Is that. Well, they're a bit larger. They'll do perfectly. Excellent. Bunch of elk over there. They'll do nicely. They shouldn't aggro. Or at least not as much. Meanwhile, we've also got some small animals like squirrels and other critters we could hunt. So they'll be busy for a while. That's okay. We're still talking to Hakuya. Oh, we found more chocolate. Cool. Hakuya is now fully healed from her... Uh, encounter. We were quite lucky in that she died without any, uh, well she didn't die, but that she didn't die to the immediate shots. There we go, we'll expand this animal area a bit so they can find some more grass to graze with. You know, you don't have to feed them anything if they can graze their own grass. It's lovely. It's a very nice system. Uh, yeah, you're not very happy in there, which is honestly completely understandable. Do you get food? I think you're allowed... Yeah, you're allowed food. It's fine. 
Oh, um, I don't mean interrupt, but I would really like this corpse to butchered at some point. You're not assigned to cooking. Well, never mind me then. Oh. There's some fire over there. Uh, I think it'll be fine. Then again, if we could, if we could, like, harvest the tree. Morton, can I, like... You know what, we'll go over here and we'll, uh, we'll have him, like, we'll keep him drafted. That way he's gonna put out the fire no matter what. Even if this is in the home area. That's it, we'll probably, like, add this to the home area temporarily. So that other people will go fight the fire over here. Because, you know, we need these trees. We need the wood. That's gonna be very helpful for building a more permanent base. Thankfully, the game is like, oh, there's a large fire. That's not meant to be there. You know, if we have a bunch of thunderstorms across the map, there's going to be a ton of fire. All that fire is going to kill the processor. So, anytime you have a large fire, the game will automatically summon rain after a while to help you out. If nothing else, and to make sure performance doesn't, performance doesn't die too quickly. It's a neat system. One that not many people know about. We have a new muffalo. Sweet! We're up to four now. Four out of six. That's good. Two male, two female. Nice. We've got a chance to start a muffalo breeding program at some point. That's good. Oh, and we're bringing in some dead elk as well. Excellent. Still haven't gotten any research done, so I'm thinking... We may flip to manual priorities now. I want everyone to be, like, priority one firefighting and patient. Morton's going to be Doctor. After that, all their priorities are going to be flicking. So that we absolutely make certain that anything that needs to be flicked will be flicked. Anna, you are a researcher. I will have you be Warden number one. You'll be... Um, I'll put Handling on three for now. That way, you're going to do researching before you're going to do handling. And we'll change that around as soon as we get our pemmican. I would like to prepare some pemmican for the journey down the road. It's also going to be a good way to use some of our berries and potatoes and rice. All the good jazz that we currently have. Peanut Ameritrix, you can... I'll set, I'll set peanut to be a three. Ameritrix can be a two. Peanut, your cooking is going to be in number one. Hunting number two. And then afterwards you go to wardening. After that you can clean a hall. I'll probably set you to be cleaning before hauling, so we have someone cleaning before they're hauling. Otherwise they'll work from left to right, and... Well, if we leave it at a 3-3, she's gonna do hauling, then she's gonna do cleaning. And cleaning does help keep the base pretty, which can keep their mood a little bit higher. We have a reduced like mental state break modifier, so... It's not quite as important, but it's, it will still help us out quite a bit. So we're going to do that. Morton, uh, you're going to doctor, and then you're going to grow, and then you're going to plant cut. Uh, artistic, do I care about your art? Uh, you are the one that's like the best at it, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep it in there. You're going to do hauling. Out of four, I'll so we do cleaning and hauling at a four as well. So you can do research after you're done like growing and plant cutting. Yeah, it seems okay. Anna. Handling. Yeah, we've already gone over you. You can do James. I think I'll set like you're hunting at a two. Meritrix's hunting is going to be a one. James, you'll do construction at one. Then you're going to hunt. Then you're going to mine that sort of stuff. Yeah, that seems okay. Those priorities will work for now. Anna's gonna try and train obedience on the muffalo. I approve. Now we're already in fall because I like to play in fast speed so I can actually cover a few years in my playthroughs. Plus, not much is happening. Randy is being pretty generous to us. I was about to say something is going to go horribly wrong. No, we got some visitors. Kind people, really. Oh, there we go. We have some research progress now. 
Excellent. It's not much, but it's nearly 10% actually, so... There's some more cow skin here. Ooh. Great. Do we actually have someone to set up to do tailoring? Yes. That will be James. I'm going to have you prioritize a bit of parka making. Because we have enough ma material now to make some parkas. And it's going to get cold over here. Yeah, it's minus four outside. That's not helping. Hello. How are you doing? Would you like to see our buffalo? They're quite beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they bloody are. Aki, you are not enjoying yourself over there at all, are you? That's not really my concern now, is it? Nope. Well, it might be my concern now. Who's our best melee person? Uh, it's James, isn't it? Yeah. You're the only one with a passion for it. Hell, Meritrix is the highest with a six. And then it's James with the passion. You two are gonna put her down. Or something akin to that. Please don't kill her. Thank God. Good job. Uh, Morton, could you go and capture her, please? I'm sorry to interrupt your research progress, but it's required at the moment. It's gonna get you some medical training, at least. I mean, you are level 11, so you're getting good. It's just we need you to be better. And training bruises... Without using medicine, it's really the best way to train it, so you know, get on it. Now you're gonna treat James, who's also been battered a little bit. Meritrix, also gonna get a little bit of touching up. On that way. Visitors are leaving. I hope you guys had a good time, guys. The Muffalo will miss you. They like having people around, you know. We're gonna be crazy Muffalo men at, at some point. We're just gonna go crazy overboard. We'll end up with like 30 muffalos at once. That is our destiny now. That is our destiny now. I'm actually doing a fair bit of research. Go you! Like, we need that pemmican. The sooner we have it, the better. We can start harvesting a bunch of raspberry bushes again. Life is good. I mean, there's not quite as many as there were before, but hey, it's still, it's still pretty good. I'll happily take it. It's gonna mean a couple thousand extra food again. I wish I could make more meal, though. Uh, more meals, but hey, we're working on it. We're slowly researching them. And again, we won't have to worry about stockpiling. Or rather, we have already stockpiled, so we won't have to worry about running out for a while. It's a, it's a blessing. It's a, it's a r real blessing. James, you're digging that compact steel. I'm gonna ask you to tailor for a bit. I would really like that parka to be done. You know, the more we have, the warmer we'll end up being. All of your colonists will lack warm clothing when the cold season comes. It's gonna reach minus 18. Yeah, I don't like frostbite that much. I really wish I could tell them to prioritize research, but I can't. It's very annoying. Like, it's a short-term project. You're halfway done. Oh god. I'm like, has died because of cold. Please, no. It's only plants. Thank god it's only plants. We'll harvest what we can, I guess. Like, please harvest everything you can. Consuming chocolate? That's fine. I will ask you to haul some of it, though, as soon as you are done, like, eating the chocolate. Give me some as well. Like, I like chocolate. So bring me some. Damn it. Excellent. You are hauling 75 chocolate to the storage. Matrix, you're gonna feed a packaged survival meal. You really have to walk all the way over here to... People. They're weird. They're weird. 
Oh, apparently we don't have any normal meals anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, now you're the one that was a cook, right? Not a spina, right? I remember now. I need you to do a bunch of cooking for me. Major break risk on who? Probably Pina. Oh, it's on you, Gizzy James. Very ugly environment. I'm sorry you don't like it here. We could smooth the floors in here, I guess. It's gonna take a lot of work, but it is a good way to train construction. Get some rest, buddy. You need it. Awful barrack, shared bedroom, disturbed sleep. Yeah, this is not ideal. Visitors, the Alien Union are visiting. They have some items to trade. Cool, we have berries we could offer you. Provisions for the way home. I guess. Oh, we could se sell them meals. We could sell them a whole lot of things, to be honest. Oh, we are making good progress on the research. Look at that. That's great. That's what we need right now. More stuff. We're actually using milk. I'm not sure if I approve of that, to be honest. The milk is quite good on its own. Best warden is Anna. Right. Sorry to disturb your research, but... Hello, friendly people. You carry absolutely no silver whatsoever. We are richer than you are. You do have go juice, a pistol, a machine pistol, hyperweave pants, ooh, masterwork pants. And you don't want to buy a Hakuya. I'm almost insulted. No, you know what? That's fine. I don't want to sell Hakuya anyway. For some reason, we can't sell Muffalo 3. That's weird. Uh, we'll sell you our simple meals, I think. I could buy your, like, fine meals. Like, I'll trade you a bunch of simple meals for a fine meal. Oh, I'll even take your components. You thieves. <laughs> That's fine. Do that. So we get some fine meals for our people to eat. That's good. James is going to start smoothing the floor. He's going to take a lot of work. So he's going to gain a lot of construction experience from it. And then let's check at the beauty here. It's very ugly. Minus five. The, the, honestly, the, the skins and stuff aren't helping. The hides. So the sooner we make them into parkas, the better really. But we'll, we'll like work on the things here. Work on the floors. It's going to get us four extra beauty. From a minus one to a plus three. Oh, hey, 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 you bastards. God damn it. We paid for those meals. Ah. <sighs> I should have seen that coming. Those buffalo, I swear to god, they're not gonna get any food for the rest of this winter. They can just sort it out themselves now. Oh, if they don't behave, we'll turn them into food. Oh, we trained Muffalo 3 in obedience. Pemmican is research! Hallelujah! Do we want to research anything? Uh, I may want to research... I think we'll go for refining. If anything, maybe hydroponics. We can't bring hydroponic tables with us, sadly. We don't need a passive cooler because we have a, like, technological one. Drug production? Or brewing? Uh, I'll go hydroponics, why not? It's a valuable thing to have. Right, best warden is Anna. I want you to have one more chat with him as they're leaving. Oh, they now offer us a lot more. Cool, we can see, we can see modifiers. Ah, oh, that's useful. Market value of 25. Because we are selling, they're not going to pay as much. Because of the difficulty we're playing at, we're going to get a little less as well. That's fine. I like the modifiers here. You're buying... Uh, we're buying it, so we're going to pay more. Trader type, so we're going to pay double. And the difficulty level also means we pay a bit more. But we can negotiate 5% off. 
That's good to know. See, I like info. Thank you for telling me this information. Have some simple meals. Thank you for the silver. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Now, Anna, since you're not really required to research anymore, we're going to improve handling to a 1, or to a 2 rather. I'll have you clean. I'll have you haul, clean, and then research. It's fine. It's no, uh, there's no real pressure here. Anyway, we're going to cancel that. We're going to make pemmican forever. There you go. So now, we're actually going to stock up on food that can not spoil for a long time. Which is pretty great. Like, that's good. Potato and rice plants died because of cold. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stop sewing now. There we go. James, how, how, like, rested are you? I want you to do some more tailoring. We need more parkas. Yeah, we need to, like, work through these elk hides and all that jazz. I'm like, steel. Can I see what your weight is? Mass. 0.5 kilograms for one steel. So, two stacks of this would weigh 75. So, a muffalo could carry four stacks of steel? Man, we're gonna need some more muffalo. Holy moly. Also, you guys need to start breeding. I'm just saying. We need more muffalo. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, right. Do we want to go for some animal beds? We have stuff, I guess. We have some cow skin. There we go. We'll make like four. James, can I try to work on that? Yes, I can. Good. But the cow skin is just laying here. We can just use it. It's good practice, right? For construction. Nothing else. Plus, they might appreciate it and they might, uh grow a little closer to one another. Again, it's just temporary, but it's good to have anyway. And that pemmican is going to come in useful one way or another. Also means that we're actually going to get rid of some of those bloody berries. They're useful to have, don't get me wrong, but... I think we've got a couple too many. Which is not a thing you expect to be seeing in Rimworld. Too much food. We actually made a normal bed. Way to go, James! Poor shoddy, poor. I shouldn't have praised you, should I? Sorry, James. I mean, you tried. That's the thing. I recognize that you tried. And that's all we, we ask, right? You don't get a debuff from eating berries, do you? You do not. That's good. That's really good. So yeah, they've got fancy beds now. Hakuya is still, uh, still not feeling too good. Oh, you know what? I'll give you an actual bed. It's fine. I'm gonna reinstall you over there. Sorry, Pina. You're gonna get a better bed out of it, so that's okay. Set owner. Pina. There you go. No problem, it's not. Oh no, because it's a wardening. But that's a bed. Do we need to assign the wardening to. Wrong person. Do we need to assign the wardening to place a bed over there? No, just chatting. Like, I'm trying to click on the ghost of the thing I'm trying to do, but. Damn it. James. Why are you not cooperating with me, game? Tell me. No, fine. We'll expand her room a little bit, I guess. Grumble. Many grumbles can be heard. There we go, just build it. There we go, mine the granite now. If you're not gonna do it my way, I'll make you do it another way. Alright, cancel the bed. Now we're going to reinstall you over there. Now we can actually work on the bed. Really? 
Really? I'm just asking you to... Is Hakuya standing in the way? Is that it? There you go. For prisoners. Enjoy. You have an actual bed now. It did make the room a little uglier, I guess. It has beauty one. I guess it does make it a little bit uglier, but not very much. So, it's hard to say I care. But yeah, you now have a bed, Hakuya. Enjoy. No longer will you sleep on the floor. And your room is a little bit bigger. It's still tiny as hell, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know what, we should just build it into an actual room. I do like it when prisoners don't flip out on me, I gotta say. I'll reinstall you over there. Someone's shooting. It's because I ordered something to be hunted over there, it's fine. There we go, hunt some small game. Gonna get us a bit of extra meat, so... Yeah. There we go, you're gonna get a half-decent room out of this. Look at that, look at you. There we go, deconstruct. Come on, James, get on it. He's getting better, slowly. He's trying. We know he's trying. Oh, you're gonna feel great when you're waking up. No longer will you have a terrible room. Ah, lovely. Ooh, it's James's birthday. He's developed asthma. Are you kidding me? He's only 26. It's fine. We can get you better lungs. <laughs> it's okay. Ooh, Anna and Muffalo 2 have formed a bar uh, bond. Anna's named him Bart. Cool. We now have a muffalo named Bart. I approve. Now, you can be, uh... You, can, you two can stay together. Bart! You are not gonna follow around when Anna is recruited. Isn't Anna the one that... Yeah, you're incapable of that. Thank God. Oh, your social is really good, by the way. Industrious prostophobe. Yeah, so Anna should be safe no matter what. But even then, you will never follow Anna when she's, like, recruited. That seems like a bad idea. A really bad idea. Flash storms. Those are bad. It's basically giant thunderstorms. I don't like giant thunderstorms near me. I'm gonna clean this home area, just to make sure. You're nearly done sleeping. You're gonna eat some good berries. You're, you're doing good. Anna, your, your social is good. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were close to level 11. My bad. I thought I read 10,000 out of 11,000. Could have been, but it wasn't. Eh, we'll give Meritrix a social experience, I guess. Recruit chance of 2%. That's gonna take a while. You know, we'll give you a light as well. Since we can literally bring the standing lamps with us. We'll even give you a power line. There we go, we'll be generous. You better appreciate this, because we are going out of our way here. You're always getting comfort on a better level than the colonists are. Uh, we'll put another lamp here to light this up a bit more. James is doing a good job, like, smoothing it out, so that's good. It's gonna increase the beauty a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. I'm gonna place down a windmill over here. We're gonna clear all the trees. And that should help us maintain enough power. I'm gonna get James to work on it. That should help us get a little bit of power throughout the day, even when there's an eclipse. So, yeah, keeping a decent mix between solar and wind is generally what I like to do, as you may have experienced in the last season. We do have a bit of wind, which is surprising, given how many bloody trees are blocking the way currently. 
Bushes, etc. don't actually make a difference, it's just trees. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of wind at the moment. Excellent. We're currently gaining 3400 watts. That's more like it. Your mood is actually a lot higher now. You do count as naked for some reason, though. You only come with a parka and a toque, you don't have any pants. That could be a problem. Oh, James, level 8 construction, cool. Yeah, the beauty in here is going up. Although, it's still very low over here with all the hides and whatnot. It's getting better. It's getting better. As soon as we, like, clear the blood out, this might actually be a half-decent place to live, you know? I mean, we have Pina assigned to basically cook forever. So she's never gonna do any cleaning. It, it was worth a shot, I guess. Yeah, I'm okay with keeping the pemmican in here because it's gonna spoil in a year. Like, we're never gonna... We're never gonna have any issues with that. So that's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. James, can I ask you to start tailoring for me? I'd like some more parkas. And then we might make some pants for Hakuya. Just to get rid of that negative debuff. Well, you still count as him being in pain because of those scars and gunshot wounds. Yeah, that's not great. You're permanently going to be unhappy because of that. I'm tempted to actually have Pina make fine meals at some point. It would help with everyone's mood. Oh god, you've been very busy, haven't you? Yeah, you've been making a lot of meals. I approve, Pina. You've got the right spirit. Oh, look at that. We're now gaining power throughout the night because of our wind turbine. Ooh, we got a bulk goods rider from Alia Union. Oh, they've got little packs on the... Oh, that's so cool. Those little packs are amazing. Look at the blights destroying our crops. You know what? That's fine. Mass carried 150 out of 70 kilograms. Really? You cannot carry a whole lot, can you? Oh, you're carrying 200 kilograms. Why do you carry so little? Your physical mass is 160. What is your carrying weight? Carrying capacity is 150. It doesn't say how much you can carry in weight. Interesting. Whether this animal is appropriate to use to carry items in a caravan over long distances. Oh, yes, you are. So is a dromedary, by the way. Huskies? Yeah, no. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Actually, it doesn't say they aren't, but, you know, it doesn't specifically say that they are either. Oh god, there's a lot of berries outside. That's fine. Ooh, we made all the parkas. Good. Beauty is still low. It's better over here. As soon as we get rid of all the blood splats and the dust, we might actually be doing somewhat decently. Morton, I'm gonna get you to clean a bit to help with the whole beauty issues here. See? That's a lot better. That's just from cleaning. Went back up to like minus one instead of like minus four. That's gonna make a difference in people's minds here. That's good. Combine that with all the floor smoothing we're doing. As soon as we get rid of some more of these hides, we should be fine. Meritrix, you are not the one to be recruiting, are you? You really shouldn't be, but you're getting experience. You should be getting joy from that. I don't think you have a joy mood, a joy requirement. Interesting. Anna's being attacked by an Arctic Fox? No! Ooh. That's bad. That's really bad. The one person that cannot fight is being attacked by a predatory animal. Oh, we're gonna leave it here for this episode, folks. We're leaving on a bit of a cliffhanger. Thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, do let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. We're one step closer in preparing our move to the new place at some point. 
I will have Bart follow, actually. I want to have everyone follow Anna. Hopefully they'll be able to, like, cover her back or something, but this might go really wrong. We'll have to find out. If you want to watch more RimWorld, but you are not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button so you'll get notified when future videos go live. And until next time, have a good one, folks.